joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. How are you? Very well. Good to see you. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. So do you. I am so excited to have you. They are sending you emojis on the chat box. We are all happy to have you this morning on the live. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. How are you? How are you guys? Very well, very well. Great stuff. Yeah, Great my stuff. Going to the conversation uh, immediately because of the network issue that we have earlier. So a lot of small people, uh, uh, we used to have, used to think that when they have a lot of followers on Instagram or, or whatever platform they are using, that will make them have more customers. But in doing that, they gather a lot of irrelevant followers on their business social media. Please explain to us how small businesses can get the right target audience customer for their business. Okay, so that is a very important question, you know what I mean? And having the right audience, as you know, is very, very important. I think the key thing is you have to be very strategic about it. A lot of people don't do that. They just do follow, follow. <laughs> you know, they say somebody's doing it, they have this, let's go and do it. And then, you know what I mean? You don't get the results that you are looking for. You have to have a social media strategy, you know? You need to have one in place. First, you think about your brand, you know? Who are you as a business? Your brand is the DNA of who you are. It's your mission, your vision, and all of that. You need to really understand your uniqueness because that is what will connect people to you. You know what I mean? You see, if I use this example, uh, for, for example, um, let me use like a romantic relationship type of thing. You've met many people in the world. Then you see one person, you're like, oh my God, where have you been all my life? You know, that kind of thing. So that's yeah. the same way. When your people find you, it will be like, ah, why didn't I know you existed all this time? You know what I mean? But the only way they can do that, you need to be authentic. You know, that word people use all the time. So people need to know who you are as a business. You need to provide them. So your goals, when you're doing your social media strategy, is the first thing you need to do before you even start thinking about, let me go on social media. You need to understand your goals, i.e., why are you in business? Why are you in business? You know, why are you just doing this thing for the sake of doing it? You know? You need to be clear about clear and very intentional about your purpose for being in, uh, on social media. Are you using, I mean, why are you on social media? Is it because you just want to be there and be dancing so that people will see you? Is it because you want to promote your business with it? Is it because you want to use it as your business to itself? You know, this is your business, where you run it from. You know what I mean? Is it because you're promoting a course? You know what I mean? Uh, say no to rape. That's the course. Is it because you're, you know, I mean, what are you doing? Is because when you know all of these things, who you are, your brand, why you're doing what you're doing, your goals as a business, then it defines the messaging you put out and the kind of people that you will attract. Yeah. If, yeah. for example, you are promoting a course, say no to rape, all your messaging is about it's people that are interested in that that will come to you. You know what I'm saying? It's not just any Joe public. Then, in talking about this, your audience as well, which is your current and potential clients, you know, you need to know who they are because not everybody is your customer. When you're talking about attracting the wrong kind of people, you know what I mean? Who is the person you want to attract? Who are they? So you need to be strategic and intentional about that. All these big companies you're seeing, all these people, a lot of people making it, they actually take the time out to define who their company is. You've been into a bank, they'll give you a form, KYC, know your customer, yeah. <laughs> you know? They want to know who you are so they can tailor things that are for you so that when you go there, you are like, oh my God, this bank does the things that I want. It's because they've taken the time to study you. Yeah. Not because they don't go in the morning and they just started doing stuff. They were actually intentional about what they were doing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you need to be in that way. You need to, what you need to do with like, we say like when you're putting a strategy, you need to define who your customers is, uh, your customers are. You need to drill down to nitty gritty, like how old are the people that you are looking to attract? Because it depends. If you're trying to attract a 20 year old, the information you're putting out is different from when you're trying to attract a 60 year old. Even if it's the same product, it's a different way that you will package this your thing that you're selling to them because it's different, you know what I mean? You need to know the agenda. If it's a man, it's different from the way you say that if it's a woman. You know, what kind of education do they have? All of these things are important. You know, where do they stay? What language do they speak? Because I'll tell you what, yeah, you can say something in um, Pidgin English. It will mean slightly, or it will sound slightly different when you say it in Queen's English. You yeah. know what I mean? So you need to understand all of these kind of things. You know, what kind of jobs do they do? You know, 
what kind of online devices do they uh, uh, use? What's their, but, uh, what kind of subjects are they even interested in? Because you might be talking A, but they are speaking B. You know what I mean? You will not be attracting the right people. That's why you'll be like, oh, these are not the people that I actually want, you know? And what's very, very important is where on social media are they? Because you're, 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 the kind of people you are looking to attract cannot be on LinkedIn and you're on TikTok, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we'll not see them. So you need to actually know, my customers, where on social media are they? Where do they live? You know, are they on Instagram? Are they on Facebook? Are they on Twitter? Because not everybody uses everything. It's just craziness. You know, I mean, people have the ones that they prefer. So you need yeah. to know where they are. This is the way, you know, when you put all of this together, you'll be able to pull in the right kind of people. You know, I mean, know who you are as a brand. Connect this to what you are offering as a business. You know, as a business, you are in existence to solve the pain points of your customers. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So, uh, what is, uh, if you are not actually solving their problem or providing information to the kinds of questions that they are asking or, uh, or they are looking for, then obviously you won't get the right kind of people. So you have to tweak all of this and you can only do all of this when you actually know who your customer is, who is the person that you are trying to attract. So put a, they put a social media strategy in place, you know what I mean? Then you start getting the right type of people. I 